Some researchers in Japan are at the cutting edge of fuel technology. They have created a process to replicate photosynthesis to get carbohydrates from carbon dioxide and water. As we found out, the research could help reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and reduce global warming. This is the world's first artificial photosynthesis system to generate methane, which can directly be used as fuel. When artificial sunlight is directed at the water, it dissolves into oxygen and hydrogen ions. The hydrogen ions move to the case containing the carbon dioxide dissolved water, where they generate methane. The key is the catalyst, the substance that accelerates the chemical reactions. A leading home electronics maker developed the system. During its five years of research, the company has adapted gallium nitrate for highly efficient photochemical reactions. People burn methane for fuel. Users burning methane generated through artificial photosynthesis can recycle the carbon dioxide that's released. The company plans to put an artificial photosynthesis plant into commercial operation by 2020. We need catalysts that generate only methane or only alcohol. The question is how we hone our skills to make the best choice. That's a big challenge. Another group of researchers was inspired by the idea of doing exactly what plants do in photosynthesis. A joint team from Tokyo Institute of Technology and major automaker Toyota has developed this powder. It's called artificial leaves. Plants absorb sunlight across the whole of their leaves and accumulate the energy from the light to ensure the process is efficient. The artificial leaves also contain substances that absorb light and those that accumulate the light's energy. By copying this natural mechanism, the researchers can collect sunlight and convert it with high efficiency into chemical energy. The team chose a low-cost organic material for the catalyst to absorb the sunlight instead of the usual expensive substances. This has opened the way to addressing a major challenge in artificial photosynthesis, the high costs involved. The catalysts currently in use consist of many rare metals. With the new catalysts, not many rare metals are necessary to trigger chemical reactions, so the catalysts are less costly. It's hoped they will play a very important role. A broad range of major companies are involved in research into artificial photosynthesis in Japan. Research continues into the practical use of this stream technology to light up their future business.